This video is going to explain uh, this celestial event of the birth of Prince William and also the celestial event what happened in the conception of Prince William and I have a little small video here of uh, Juan O'Savan uh, speaking about this um, exact event that occurred and I just want you to listen to that it's just a small um, five-minute clip that I took uh, from McAllister TV you can I'll put in the link um, of the video that ex has the uh, whole explanation but I just wanted to show you the how this is what got me on to looking into um, the conception date of his of his birth So after this information, I realized my whole theory with Obama being um, the Jupiter planet and uh, the Satan uh, <laughs> representation, um, I realized that really it's Prince William and uh, Obama is just really a backup. And uh, Juan also says that. Um, I, I don't have that clip handy, but he also says the same thing, that Obama is just the backup. Of course, the red dress is appropriate with that theme, and also the pan collar has significant with uh, Kate. This lace pan collar has to do with the pan god, um, and he is uh, representing the shepherd and the flock. So again, you know, working with the sheep again, the word panic comes from this god as well. And the origins have to do with the mother goddess again. You can look at my uh, last videos all about the mother goddess and Melania Trump uh, representing her. It also has the Acropolis uh, city, which is the city of the dead, and the Apollo Annapolis Magna, which has to do with uh, Trump's representation of Apollo. This is part of Princess Diana's uh, memorial where it has water, which is really the river Leth, and it's in the shape of a Q. And then we also have JFK. 
memorial as a queue and Juan speaks about that as kind of like a footprint um, on their death, uh, not a, not in a nice way. So the Q movement is trying to take back that symbol um, because it is a very negative symbol. So Q is actually phi. Um, it's a sewing needle. It's a needle in the back of your head in Arabic. So it's not um, freedom. It's basically you're recycled back um, and you're kept in control in this realm. I've done videos before, but I didn't have as much knowledge back then about the mirror of uh, Princess Diana's uh, memorial as well. This shot I couldn't find again. I had it on one of my old videos, but yeah, they buried her in a mirror-shaped lake, which is um, Venus symbolism and also lots of oak trees around it. And I'll explain what that is, the whole Venus pan um, so this pan is really a mirror. It's the looking glass to do with Alice in Wonderland as well. And it's fertility, right? It's Eve because the, the, when Venus goes around the orbit, there's nine months on one side. And then there's this dark spot where it goes um, in front of the earth. And there's like for eight to nine days, you don't see Venus. And they would take water in a pan, put um, the pan up at the sun and then have a reflection on the wall so they could still track Venus because they're obsessed with tracking Venus because this is when Christ returns because it's born through the mother um, of Eve um, at that moment through her womb. That's what that whole thing represents is the, the orbit of Venus is the birth of the sun. Okay, um, I know that goes against a lot of Christian beliefs, but this all goes back to the planets. It's, it's there's no joke, and all the symbolism is there through all the elite families. So if you're in denial about that, it's just you're not getting to see the whole picture. You need to expand your mind. Um, and so yeah, I've done in my last video with uh, Trump, um, Baron Trump. It has all to do with I explain all this with Venus. I won't go into it again. So I found the exact hour that Prince William was born and then I was able to go check this out on Stellarium. So I matched it with Stellarium and I got this freaking there it is this the solstice it looks like a snake's eye right it's the serpent seed it's the cane line um, it's off by 30 minutes because they probably didn't want to look noticeable that it's a 666 timeline um, at the exact uh, time that this solstice is right looking like a snake's eye and they put it his birth at uh, 9.03 instead of 9.33 there's probably they just hit it but you know 30 minutes later this solstice is in the exact spot looking like a snake's eye we also have Venus right in Taurus right by the Pleiades and um, Venus and the Pleiades have a huge um, correlation it's feminine energy because of the seven sisters which is the seven stars in the Pleiades cluster. And Mercury is right on the bullseye of Aldebaran. Juan had mentioned this site about the occultic numbers of Prince William's birth, and you can see that there's all these solstices which relate to this time where this has only happened once before. And it's complicated. It has to do with the moon and these 19 years between the cycles. And, you know, we have this whole 19 thing with... Um, it's an important number. So anyhow, this is how the moon goes into these eclipses. At one point it's behind the earth and the other time it's in front of the earth blocking the sun. But all eclipses are relating to the moon patterns, which is really important to understand. The moon has huge significance in our story here on this planet. So here's uh, some information on the Calypic cycle that Prince William is related to with these 19 years. And it, what's interesting, it comes out to this draconic months. Um, and the gematria on that is 24. And it also has to do with Nabu Nazar, which I've done videos all about Nabu and Trump. So everything's starting to like come together now. Um, and, you know, it's just trying to understand how the moon is working and how they're going to make an event relating to the position of the moon. Also the other planets as well, but the moon has huge significance. You can actually pinpoint the exact hour of the harvest um, with where the moon placement is, and I will explain that to you. Here's more information on explaining the lunar nodes, and they're called dragon tails. And <laughs> <laughs> you know me and the dragon thing. Uh, yeah, it's the dragon is super important as well. So we're going to get to all that.
this occultic web page of uh, Prince William's occultic numbers because the time of Princess Diana's death it came to 555 now 555 is Cronus that's the you know god of the golden age again you know so it's all like synced like everything and here we have when he was conceived I, this blew my mind okay so we have the sun on the conception date right on the star that has to do with um, freedom and ascension we have saturn jupiter and mercury all on the same line on the left hand side of her body on her arm and mercury is right on spisa um, spisa is the ear of har uh, ear of grain you know ear of corn ear of wheat um, you know for the harvest and it's right sitting on top of it and then Venus is also which is the fertility um, she's in the Virgo so like everything is here right on the conception of his um, of his birth because it's exactly nine months to the day um, almost of his birth so here's the star of uh, Spisa the wheat of grain everything and I had put this in um, tr um, Baron Trump's video as well because his moon is on the Spisa star as well um, just before uh, this Venus ascension ascending thing happens right before it goes into the darkness in front of the earth so yeah so you have to um, go back and watch that other video to really understand the importance of will i am these two boys well one's a man one's a boy have the name william in their name okay will i am is super important and you can see them here all the symbolism the ram the cow this the cow is the god um it's um the jupiter the ram is aries it's your crown chakra all the symbolism there and then him sitting there holding the cleft and uh, cloven hoof of the of the sheep and holding that uh, that represents him as being the antichrist okay there's a reason why baron's going to be 19 in 2024 the number is a reflection of the son of god it represents um, illumination intelligence it's also what Edgar Casey he said that on March 19th jesus would be born and baron trump's born on March 20th hello uh i can't believe that it's also when it's closed it maintains the human soul captive in the abyss of evil so yeah you want to ascend i'm going to keep saying it until people understand the importance so this side of the x um secret society has diana as the eve right and all her symbolism through her memorial and everything but you see it here she has the halo she's holding the black stone perga also relates to um Artemis, which is Princess Diana, they mentioned that in her funeral. So they want her to be the Eve. And then the other side um, is that wants people to ascend and wants people to awaken is Melania is the Eve. So there's like a battle going on between these two um, sides of the X uh, group. You know, it's all, they all know what's happening, but they're trying to. One's trying to stop people from ascending, and the other one wants people to be harvested. Yeah, so let's be clear. Melania's side wants you to ascend, and the royal family side wants you to be harvested and to not ascend, so that you're kept in this realm, and then they can keep ruling over this realm. If enough people ascend, the elite can no longer rule the people. Now this is an ancient war okay this goes back to Egypt the 42 judges are on the side of they don't want you to ascend they want you to be harvested so basically if you're with Jesus you're with ascension now Prince William happens to be 42 when this event is going to happen and we can see here all the importance of the number 42 it has to do with the beast okay so that's why he's exactly 42 when all these planets are in the perfect uh, spot i explained it this in my last video but here's the two paths the red path is to hell basically you go up to the sun you take the right hand path you get bitten by the the dragon um centaurus uh spears you you turn into a mad dog uh you go through the keyhole the little man keyhole into the ship 
you get harvested um, and then you come out with the wolf and the rabbit and it takes you down the Radis River and then the clock is there. So the whole Alice in Wonderland story is all there. The other side is you get your arrows, you get your shield, you can see the two constellations there, and then you fly like an eagle, like a bird. That's why Trump does all this funny stuff with the turkeys at um, Thanksgiving. He always has the one is going for ascension and the, uh, the other one is going for harvest. He did it last year and also this year as well. And uh, it's pretty funny, actually. Uh, I get the joke, but I don't think too many other people do. What I was missing in my last videos about this was the moon, the, the whole importance of the moon. Now, the moon on the 22nd, which is 999, at the exact 99 hour, um, you got your nines for ascension there. Um, for man, 666, it really is. Um, or 999 to get out of here, um, it happens to be right on this star. So Einstein used this star to, uh, you know, work out his whole speed of light thing. Um, also, it has to do with um, being on the left wing, um, which is the corner, the angle. This star also represents the correct weighing. So that has to do with Thoth weighing your heart. And of course, it represents by the uh, phoenix, you know, the phoenix rising from the ashes is ascension. It also uh, represents the um, empress in the tarot cards, which is learn to love, which is super important. Forgive and respect others. You will feel more contented when you develop a positive attitude, center of attraction, and start of a new relationship. Yeah, because you're going into the golden age. So it's all about having joy in your heart. Now you see the picture here. She has the whole figs on her, which I did in my video all explaining the Magna Mother and everything. And there it is right in the tarot cards. Now this is when the harvest happens. You can see it's a snake eye right on Spisa, the harvest star. Yeah, so I knew the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th had huge importance. I wasn't sure which date was which was happening. So right at this time, it's the 22222 two, two, two hour, is the snake eye right on the harvest star, um, which is on the Christmas Eve in 2024. So you have 24, 12, 24, um, and then 2 again. You know, So you have this whole 24, the mirroring. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's exactly, that's the time when it's going to happen. You know, the prime ministers uh, of Israel, his name is Ben Ben. Well, this has to do with the Egyptian capping of the pyramid as well. It's called the Ben Ben Stone, and it relates to the Ben Nu bird. You know, we want to be a bird because, and that also relates to the phoenix. So it's, all the symbolism is everywhere, and even in Israel. Okay, so here we're getting into the ascension numbers and the date of when uh, the moon is exactly in the Zavi Java ascension star, uh, which is in Virgo, which is like the Virgin Mary Venus. Uh, the time that it's in that exact location on that star is in uh, 2024 on the 12th month, which is December 22nd. It's there at the ninth hour ninth minute and ninth second. Okay, so all these numbers end up being uh, really relevant in the Freemason numbers. And uh, they, this is all being planned. Like they know the future of when these celestial events are happening. And all the events in the world, <laughs> sounds crazy, but are coordinated to match these numbers. Okay, so they've known that this is event is going to be played out and everything that um, we think is real is basically an illusion of them following the numbers. And the numbers are created through the celestial uh, events. Okay, so the day of ascension is the 22nd day, which the year of the tiger is the 2022. So that has reference to that. So the geometry of the date goes to 60. Now, if you bring that down and you see the gematria of the time, it comes to 27, which breaks down to 9 again. Now, 60 and 27 goes to 87. 87 is a very important number. It, it definitely breaks down to 6. Um, and it's also 3 times 29, which is 11, uh, equals 87. And that's important because this 3 times 11 ends up coming to 33, which is the big Freemason number. And it's also the year is 2024, and the tetrahedron uh, 24 star number is uh, breaks down to 3313. 
Okay, so all the numbers of Freemasonry is on this date. Uh, 357th day of the year, it, that breaks down to six. There's nine days left in the year, and there's six, uh, Gematria is the 51st Sunday. So it's, of course, it's happening on Sunday because, you know, that's our religious day. Um, and these numbers add up to 21, which is the last card in the Tarot Trump cards, which is the universe card. And now the, it's also the 52nd week. And if you add the seven, it comes to 28. And that brings us back to the, um, the 10 times 10 times 60, which is the date of the, the whole event. Uh, we get back to six, which is the Star of David. Okay, It's always between the Venus star, which is five. Uh, pentagram and then the six and five and six is really important because you can see here um, December is really the 10th month it was originally the 10th month um, because the calendar actually started in April so it's um, on the spring equ uh, equinox so here is the 10th month this is Desi for 10 it comes to 32 the date which is five we get back to 11 now the interesting part is 1 11th uh, comes to nine zero nine zero nine zero. It's the infinity of nine, which is the exact time the moon is in the star. Okay, so there's total relevance there. So we end up getting to nine eleven, which we know that's a really important number. And the double X event um, in Christianity, they usually have like a one before the X and a one after the X. So it's like one XX one. So that is uh, Roman numerals for 911. And that's why the, we see the double X, um, you know, being exposed like to Madonna's um, Eurovision um, video. It's all the XX event. Okay, so here we have uh, prime factorization of 87 is three times 29. I explained that. And here's more numbers just showing you the whole breakdown of the number 87. We have the 9, the 54, we have the 33, the 6, and the 32, the 5. So this is when you realize perfections at play. The symbolism of the providential direction of evolution is number 87. Numbers and stars uh, composing of the great bear and the numerical value of the word Eden in Hebrew. Wow. Okay, so the time is happening is the um, ninth hour, ninth minute, and ninth second. So it comes to uh, 27. And this also is the Holy Spirit, represents evolution, the unity of the duality, your death, which is like your ascending. Um, 27 is also a lunar symbol. So we have it all there. Okay, so the day of pain is the 23rd. It's uh, represented by the year of the rabbit in 2023. The date uh, adds up to the gematria of 61, which breaks down to 7. 61 divided by 11, our magic number 11, is 5.5. So we have that, you see that in the Q movement, the 5.5. The 358th day of the year breaks down to number 7. Uh, there's eight days left in the year, and there's 52nd Monday is the moon day, um, is number seven as well. So these numbers add up to 22. Now, 22, there's 22 cards in the tarot trump cards, um, and the 22nd card is actually the zero card, because 21 is the universe, and then there's one extra card, and it's the zero card. It's the fool's card. Um, and so this represents the fool's day, the day of the pain. And uh, it's the 57th week, so we add another 7 to it. It comes to 29. 2 plus 9 equals 11. Then we take the, the 7 from the date uh, is 7-11. And like I explained before, December is the 10th month. It's the 10th month, actually. It's the spring equinox is when they started it, but the spring, spring equinox is March, not April, like I said before. And then we have the tetrahedron star number again to the 3313, and we see the number uh, 13 here again. Okay, so 711 comes to 77, and this number uh, represents uh, the symbol of sinners who lived uh, before the arrival of Christ, according to the Father of the Church. So it's interesting that it's kind of like um, divine revelation, thanks to the word confirmed it's it's not a great number. It says here the 77 generations of Adam to the Christ according to the evangelist uh, of Luke. Cain is avenged seven times. So it's like a punishment number.
Okay, so this is when you get harvested, basically. It's on the 24th, the Christmas Eve. It's the dragon year. You're going to go up and get bit by the dragon. The moon is right on the ear of the grain and spicer. Yeah, we got the numbers add up to 68, uh, 62, sorry, and it comes to 8 again, the infinity number. The hour is 2222, two, 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 it comes to 10. With the 62 and the 10 comes to 72, which is 9. 9 again, but it's it's just one single 9. It's a Q. That's Q. That's the needle in the back of your neck um, where they harvest you. This comes, uh, all these numbers here, with the Tuesday being the Mars Day, which is the day of war. Um, it's 29, um, which comes to 11, 9 11. So we're back to 9 11 again. And this is the symbol of 9 11 in Roman numerals, uh, the double XX event I keep talking about. Um, it comes to 99, right? So 9 times 11 is 99. And so, and here's the gematria of Prince Will I Am. Uh, his dates come to uh, 9 11 as well. Um, and you know, this symbolizes a double X event, like I said, and it's also Juan was saying that they think it's Christ's birthday, the three BC, because the, the X and the X ends up being one. So it's one, 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 it's the infinity, uh, the, sorry, the uh, Trinity and, uh, December being decimonth month again, uh, brings it to 34, which is seven. So seven, you see all these seven, seven, sevens. This is not going to God. This is getting recycled back into this whole realm and just, you know, for you to keep learning to see if you can find how to open the door to get to God is through ascension. You have to follow Jesus. This is really the whole thing. So the number 99 is interesting because it breaks down to 911. And um 911, you know, we have a lot of negative connotations towards that number, but here it's saying it's pure spirit. So it, and it's also a bit of a trick here because we have it in the ascension uh date which is the 22nd, and we also have it in the harvest date which is number 24, the day, uh, 24th. So it's kind of a little bit of a trick, and I think it's just really your personal choice which way you want to go. You know, if if you're not into seeing all this stuff and all these numbers and you, you just think it's all, you know, this just can't be, um, then you're just quite happy being in this realm, and you don't want to see the symbolism of um, the patterns of showing that this is all an illusion. You're, you're, you're not comfortable with thinking that this is an illusion that we're in you're 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 attached to this illusion so in that case you just would be harvested and you would come back your memories wiped that's what i'm assuming because it's a lot of symbolism like through the movie frozen and stuff you're just frozen you're comfortably numb you're you're um you know you're just you're at peace but you're you've lost that that um i don't know the inner drive to kind of see that this is all just fake and you want something else. Okay. So if you're happy in this realm, then being harvested is really going to be your root. Um, and it's also refers to the number 99. You can read through here. It has some, some, you know, pure spirit symbolism. So it can be either way. Your spirit can be pure through ascending or your spirit can be pure through, um, being harvested and just coming back and living a peaceful, calm life. Um, this is what basically that's what they're going to do. They're going to kind of keep, um, the harvested people at a very comfortably emotional state, a uh, very peaceful state because um, the fear mongering can no longer exist in this realm. And the people that ascend will be able to manifest through this uh, non-fear reality. So it's really like a balance of where you want to be. If you want to be part of the, the freedom um, people that are uh, working with this new energy, or you're just part of the uh, people that are just kind of uh, stable, you know, keep being kept stable. And this is a hard one for people. Number 99 means amen. You're basically worshiping the harvest when you say amen. You're not, you're going back to the sky gods. It's not the true God. And that was put in place. The Amun uh, priests, you go back into Egypt, you can check that all out. But um, just the, when you're saying amen, you're worshiping those gods that want you harvested. Here we have Amen, Revelations 2 to 2, the day of the harvest time. He who testifies to these things say, yes, I am coming soon. Amen, come Lord Jesus. Because by the time you've said Amen, you've already, like in Armageddon, you're waiting for Jesus to come and save you. And you go through this harvest process. And 
you know, maybe you just be, lose some of your memory. I don't know, but you have to go through this tribulation um, and waiting for Jesus to come back and save save the world. And maybe you're thinking, oh, that would be great, but it doesn't sound very good. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and upon the earth distress of nations, of perplexity and the sea of the waves roaring, men's hearts falling from fear and from looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heavens will be shaken and there shall and there shall they see the son of a man coming in the cloud of power and great glory and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift your heads for redemption draweth near so yeah it sounds like yeah it's good you get saved but it doesn't sound like you're going to live through a lot of great things so it's a personal choice you know you can just wait and see what your body does because i think ascending is uh, takes a lot of physical um attributes and uh you have to be really know how to be at peace. Um, so it's, you know, it's just a really a personal journey. But Trump keeps, you know, making jokes about, you know, taking control of the snake with a snake poem. And also, you know, he's mentioned in one of his uh, speeches, a thousand years, we're going to make it. So he wants us to ascend. And, um, you know, what I've understood from this journey of uh, the Q movement and learning about you know, the biblical aspect and the political aspect and where we're going. And um, for me, I want a whole new beginning and I want to have that ability to uh, be interdimensional, see my uh, past relatives. But that's a total personal choice. If you want to live through the hell on earth so you can watch Jesus come and save you, and that's where you really feel like you want to be, then that's your personal choice. So just, uh, I just wanted to put this together so you have the knowledge of which is which and what time it happens and whether you want to look into ascension and learning the attributes to help you along that way that's fine it's just things you need to eat and keep really hydrated and stuff um Juan mentions this in some of his videos he talks about um laughing gas and things like this because i think it's going to be hard to breathe so i think they do want us to ascend, like they're hinting, like this is the right way. And he talks about um, having enough numbers to be able to do this because if enough of us ascend, the evil is gone. Okay. Like totally, like it's from us making it happen, not waiting for somebody to come and save us. Um, and he also mentions that in one of his videos, he says, um, Trump's not going to save you. And he says, you know, the thing is the, um, the, um, the, these, evil entities that are being keeping us so suppressed on this planet he said they will create an event so that they don't have to deal with their you know their their crimes and so you know maybe a few will be put through prosecution but i don't think it, all of them will like the high 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 ones and this will, this event will happen and we're back to clean slate so try not to get too emotionally attached to you know i gotta see them get in jail and all this because they're gonna drag this on for the next uh, five years, it's going to get dragged out uh, just until this time comes. But I'm sure there will be a lot of things, you know, exposed because it's going to help with the awakening process. The thing about ascension is that people think of it, it's like an escapism, like you're going to float away and leave everybody else here. But the twist in the whole ascension um, reality is that to ascend you need to stay grounded you need to stay on the planet you need to be able to absorb the energies that are coming through so that you can transform your body basically into the phoenix rising out of the ashes um, and you become reborn um, so that you're in another kind of uh, spiritual awakening um, and also I do think your body changes to, to some degree because you can become um, interdimensional. So you can see the people that are, um, you know, have passed, but you can also be in this reality. So it's a really going to be a really bizarre kind of um, new concept of living because you're not locked into this realm of, you know, having to work and uh, working for the, for the um, elite. So if you are harvested, you're harvested, what my understanding of it through all the symbolism is that, um, you know, you're going to have the ash on you from the volcanoes. You're going to go outside. You're going to 
um, have this magnese stick to your skin because it's a flesh magnet, the magnese. It's the vacuum that's in the constellation above cornea is a vacuum cleaner, a vacuum pump, I should say. And so I think somehow there's symbolism that there's going to be type of um, vortex rapture kind of event. But, um, you know, I know the rapture is not in the Bible, but um, people do believe in it. And but to me, it's you, the, all the symbolism is that you're getting harvested and then you're getting put, put back with a clean slate memory. And that's most likely into the smart cities. That's my understanding at this point about the two um, different paths. My other understanding is that all children under 19 will be automatically put through to Ascension. So if you want to stay with your children, if you have young children, it's very wise to learn how to ascend. Otherwise, it'll be kind of like the Peter Pan thing, you know. Um, the whole Peter Pan relates to, at the beginning of this video, with the pan caller and um, the pan god. And then, you know, they're always running away from Mr. Hook. Mr. Hook is the harvest, but these children are on this island with no parents. And that's because the children do ascend. I will eventually put some videos together about um, things to help with ascension um, as I'm learning more and more about it and uh, just getting more and more information here and there. So I will eventually do that. So for anybody that's interested, just keep my channel close to your ear and um, we can all uh, enjoy this crazy journey and ride that we're on. My next video will be discussing um, the whole Freemason ritual that's right across North America with the two eclipses and also the architect that's in um, Washington Monument, um, St. Louis um, Archway and the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge and also New York City and you can see the three um, fates here or the, or the moray are the three paths that you know what we've discussed in this video about ascending um, you know, basically dying and having to be reincarnated back or you're harvested. These are the three paths of the three fates. Um, I also want you to check out um, Seven Ones uh, Gematria videos. Um, I'll put them in the link below and uh, you can check out all the numbers, how they really relate to, to the Bible and everything. Like the whole Bible is all Gematria, which I never really understood. Uh, before so it's really quite fascinating that the numbers I presented in this video are also uh, represented through the um, verses in Revelation and you can check out all his videos because he does a really good job explaining all that.